<laughs> I get carried away. So we're gonna play the uh, Six Murder Art by Steyer and this is an E flat standard tuning. There's the E flat. So uh, we're gonna open with this intro riff here, kind of uh, psychedelic stuff, rhythm, I don't know, uh, but it goes like this slowly. Okay, so it's kind of like that. Uh, I'll try to pick everything and uh, when you come to this part, uh, I think they are doing like a little pull off there from 11 to 10. Second bar, second beat. Uh, I don't think they play like. I don't think they alternate pick the you know, 10th fret twice, so to speak. Uh, but maybe they do, I don't know. Uh, it sounds to me they do a pull off there. Uh, and uh, and then basically, so once you do this pull off, the next note, 10th fret on A again, um, second time, you're gonna do hit it with a down stroke, and then up, down, up, and then you re repeat the whole thing again, right? So that's how I play it anyway, I think that's what they do as well. Uh, then the next two bars, uh, we have actually the same riff, but we're gonna start it on uh, open E. Okay, so... And then you're gonna mute all the notes that you play on the E string at this point. Okay? Sorry. So basically, yeah, it's the same thing, but it doesn't feel the same because it's, uh, you, you are using the open string here. Just pull off that you hit with the down stroke, and then again, first thread on A, again with the down stroke, and then back to the E. Okay, so that's the yeah, that part, and then you're gonna end on this uh, second line. We're gonna hold the first thread note, and that will be it uh, for this part. Um, yeah, then the verse riff, very high speed picking uh, exercise, but if you slow it down... Okay, it's not the first uh, yeah, repetition of that riff, and as you can see in the second line I'm gonna have like three different endings, uh, uh, so the first bar in the second line that's ending one and three, then yeah, and then you have second ending in the middle there and the fourth ending in the in the final uh, repetition, the fourth repetition. But the first line is the same in, in all four repetitions, right? The first three bars. Um, so, you know, I don't really like to slow down speed peak drifts actually that much. I prefer to teach it like this, so basically if I play it like this, uh, without speed picking, I will only hold the long note instead of speed picking that third note, and then see if we can pick up the melody, so one, two, three, four... Okay, and 
that was like at full speed, but <coughs> without speed picking with my right hand. Uh, so I hope to get the melody. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. You know, that chord here, the, if you look at this final two bars, uh, you have this. Oh. <laughs> Inverted power chord on the 6th fret on A and D. Uh, I know that, I think they play it with their pinky. I can't really do that, my, my pinky isn't strong enough for that, so I usually use my ring finger, but you know, you can play it with your pinky if you can. Right, yeah, I can play it sometimes, but it's kind of not, I'm not confident in the, in the strength of my pinky, uh, anyway. <laughs> so that's the verse, and then the chorus riff, uh, a bunch of speed picking, so first riff is based on the first thread. And the first line, and uh, yeah, it goes this. And the second line, the same thing, but move everything in one one fret higher up, right? Okay, so if you play it without speed picking. Okay, so that's a very regular that. Right? Very regular uh, riffing there going on. Uh, so, and you know, in this riff and in the previous riff, I wrote pull off here. I'm not sure if they play pull off, so if they just speed pick everything, it's really hard to hear at that speed, but you know. Uh, sometimes I play pull off, sometimes I you know, just alternate pick everything without pulling off. Like this. Yeah, up to you. Um, and then for uh, side four, um, it's like the ending of the chorus, so I'm gonna have this riff. Okay, so again. Um, Without speed picking. Okay, and now I play uh, the speed pick notes once per beat, so to speak, as you can probably figure out. Uh, so that's the first line in the second line. Okay, so it's not too complicated, right? But it's <laughs> your right hand has to work a lot when you're gonna speed pick everything. Okay, um, so after this, you're gonna repeat the verse riffs one more time, exactly as before, and then you come to the second chorus uh, here, slide five, and there's a little difference here. So the second line is a bit different. Uh, right, like this, right? And the first time is like before. Right, alright. I hope you get the point. Um, the only difference is the final two bars. That's the only difference compared with chorus one. Um, okay, and then interlude. And then now we come to a riff that's really <laughs> hard to play. You're gonna, gonna down pick a lot of power chords and it's high speed. So we go like this. Okay, so so we down. Right, so if you play it slowly, it's uh, quite simple, but you have to play it really, really fast. I mean, it's down picking, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, so that's the first uh, part of the interlude. And then, final slide, we come to the third verse. So here they play, uh, the first line is kind of the same as on the previous slide, but after each uh, final power chord they add four palmuted E's. Okay, so we're gonna have slowly. Okay, those final four palmuted E's are added to that previous riff. And then the second riff in that first line is also is the one that ends on the eighth fret power chord. Then you 
add the four plan you did is to that as well. And you play this first time three times. So all together. Okay, so three times on that. And I forgot to plan you did is there at the end. Anyway. Uh, and the second line, same riff as on the previous side, so without those palmuted E's at the end. And you play it twice. Right, and at the very end there you have this. Okay, so you have the same riff as before on the previous side, right? You end it on the 8th fret power chord. But right after that, very very last chord in the song is the seventh fret power chord. So you go right, and that will be it. So there you go, and that will be the end of the sex murder art. All right, I hope that makes sense. Have fun with that.